Hey, Sam, uh, Coach mentioned that you were having some back spasms before the game. Were you ever in danger of not playing tonight? And you know, if not, at what point did you start feeling good out on the court? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Uh, just in warm-ups, started like, spasming out. I don't know why, but um, I just said I was going to go out there, see how it felt. I, and um, it felt good enough to play, so I figured I'd just play. And um, obviously, I mean, shot the ball pretty well, so um, maybe it wasn't the worst thing in the world. I got a back spasm. But uh, um, overall, just a great team win tonight. If I can follow up, uh, obviously you shot lights out tonight, but you really seem to have come a long way defensively. How would you compare kind of where you are at that end of the court now from your first game for Virginia? Yeah, I think just from the daily practice habits each and every day that the coaches harp on and um, the drills that we do, if you work hard at it, you're going to get better because um, that's what this program is built on. And um, if you want to play a lot of minutes, you're going to have to be able to guard. So I've tried to take some pride on that end, and I hope I hope it's showing because I think I've gotten better. Sam, Coach Bennett was talking about how the team sort of has a pass-first mentality and the mentality of making the extra pass and things like that. How helpful is it for you as a shooter when you got have guys like Kihei and Reese who are sort of focused on finding shooters maybe rather than scoring? Yeah, I mean, it's just making the right play, honestly. Um, and those guys are really good at it. And I think even Jay, Trey, and myself, guys come off the bench as well. I think everybody has the mindset like, you know, we might have a good shot, but if we make one more pass, it's a great shot. So playing with unselfish guys is, is awesome, and it showed tonight, and obviously everybody kind of had their two cents on the game because of the, the way the ball moved. So um, it, was, it was a great job by everyone. I asked you on Saturday about facing that 2-3 for the first time. Uh, now that you've done it, what was it like, and, and how well prepared did you guys feel like you were for what you were going to see defensively? You know, I thought our green team or our scout team earlier in the week gave us a pretty good look. Um, they played really hard, and it, it made us work for really good shots. So um, I think that helped. And then um, kind of in the flow of the game, you get a feel for it, and you can you can understand where to attack it and where you might be able to get an open shot. So it just throughout the game, we were able to find pockets or windows. We were able to get a good shot off or just make a, make a winning play. And um, we, we made a, enough of those tonight to win. And one more, what's your uh, excitement level for, for getting to be a part of the, the rivalry and playing Virginia Tech? Yeah, I'm definitely excited. Uh, practice will be fun this week. and you know, It'll ramp up a little bit probably just because of the, the whole rivalry. So um, I'm excited. The first one got postponed or canceled or whatever. I don't know what, it, what the deal is with that one. But um, it, it'll be really fun to play them because they're a really good team. All right, next we'll have Hank Kurz and Gene Wall. Sam, the, the desire to uh, spread the ball around and be unselfish, how do you mitigate that with when you're shooting it the way you're shooting it? Well, I mean, like I said before, it's just like just trying to get the best shot possible. And um, our guys are we're smart enough to know when someone's hot to get them the ball. You know, early in the game, it was me. Then Trey got hot. And then Jay got hot. Reese hit a couple. So. Um, I think when attention is drawn to one player, it opens up the floor for another, and that's what makes us dangerous on that end of the floor. Hey, Sam, you, you guys committed 13 turnovers, which is your second most this year, yet you, you just beat Syracuse by 23 points. Kind of what does that say about you? You can make those kind of mistakes, yet still come away with a victory by that, by that much of a margin. Yeah, um, obviously, I don't, I don't think we hung our head too much on those turnovers. Um, we'd like to clean them up and not have that many, obviously. But um, it shows that we have some fight in us, knowing that if we make a mistake, you just got to move on and go to the next play. And um, we got to hopefully they didn't score too many points off our turnovers. But um, uh, we can't let that happen again because it, against a lot of teams, and including Syracuse, a lot of times when you turn the ball over that much, you can get in trouble. All right, we'll take one more question for Sam from Bennett Conlon. Yeah, Sam, I think you out-rebounded them by 13. I was curious if that was a focus coming in and sort of the emphasis of, of some of the bigger guys, you and, and Jay, of grabbing rebounds tonight. Yeah, I think it was a big game for rebounding for our guards like Trey, Kihei, and Reese because Syracuse really crashed the glass hard on offense. So um, being
be able, being able to, to block someone out and go get a rebound was a hard thing to do. And I think those guys came back and helped uh, Jay and I rebound. But also on the offensive end, I think we attacked the boards pretty well too and got us some extra possessions. So um, I think that's just a point of emphasis on every single game for us, try to out-rebound the other team. So we did that tonight and two shit of us. Hey Jay, uh, Syracuse came in with all five starters averaging in double figures. They were average. The team was averaging 79 points a game. You held them to 58. Uh, this seemed to be kind of like one of the quintessential UVA defensive performances. How far has this team come at that end of the court from the start of the season to now? No, I think we've come a long way. Uh, there were games where we let teams like that get out and transition a little bit more, get off a few more open shots, and they made some very not open shots. So congrats to them. Uh, that was very impressive. But I think for the most part, we were able to you know, stifle their transition, and we made them have to play in the half court. And I think that was really big for us. Um, and I still think that we can improve. You know, There's still things that we can do better, uh, which is always really cool about this team. Jay, it's the second game or second time in the last three games, I believe, that your team has had at least 20 assists. I was curious if the offensive chemistry, do you feel like that's developed over time? I guess what sort of led to the, the high assist totals for you guys? Yeah, I mean, a lot of our offense uh, has just been moving the ball around. We don't uh, over dribble all that much, especially against a team like Syracuse. You can't because they collapse and they have guys with long arms that will poke it away from you. Um, so we would move it, you know, into the middle of the zone and then kick it back out. Um, and I think we were really able to do that well in a way that um, just led to no dribble shots, which was really big. Jay, how aware were you of the fact that Sam was having some problems with his back and warm-ups? Um, you know, when we got back out on the court after going in for the last time uh, to the locker room, you know, I noticed he had like a hot pack on. Um, he didn't let it phase him too much, obviously. Um, and it was, it was actually really impressive because I, I know playing with a bad back is no easy feat, uh, but he didn't let it phase him too much, which was really good. How good a job did the team do of, of finding him when he got hot? I mean, that's the type of thing that, you know, against the team like Syracuse with the zone that they play, uh, a pass fake and then kick to someone different typically works well. And they left him open a few times at the top, which you can't do. Um, that's just... It's got to be the biggest no-no that uh, the scouting report for their team probably said. Uh, and so we're just glad that he was able to, you know, get some open looks, which was um, obviously he connected and he uh, capitalized on it. All right, next three, Jerry Ratcliffe, Gene Long, and then Brad Franklin. Uh, hey, Jay. Uh with so many of your guys not having faced Syracuse's zone before, what kind of knowledge did you share with Sam and, and Trey and Reese? And uh, do you guys have some kind of special magic against that zone? Your Virginia's eight and two against them. I mean, just the way that we, you know, prepared in practice with uh, the Green Machine, uh, who was able to prepare us just by doing what the Syracuse zone does pretty darn well. I mean. Syracuse recruits guys with long arms, and that's hard to replicate. Uh, but our, you know, our Green Machine does a really good job of that, and I think that that was really big for us, um, especially for the guys that haven't played against it before, um, and just figuring out like where passes are going to be open and where they won't be. So. Hey Jay, you got more, more than a handful of lob, lob assists from uh, from Kihei there. Because what about that chemistry it was working, and how much did you kind of focus on that going into it, or was that just game flow that was able to happen? I mean, that's just something against Syracuse's zone. Uh, every once in a while, you're going to get one of those, um, which, you know, I think we can definitely exploit that in a lot of games because uh, it's hard to stop Kihei when he gets going down the lane. Um, and if you stop him, then he's really good at making that pass. Um, and so it's, it's a lot of fun when we can get a game going like that. Gene kind of stole my thunder a little bit, but um, I. I I haven't gone out and counted them, so I'm going to apologize in advance, but it felt like that was a lot of dunks for you. Um, when's the last time you had a game where you had that many dunks? It felt like you were all over the rim all night long. High school? Is that, is that, was that the... Maybe. The rim of the college player? I mean, there have been some games where I had a bunch, but I'll be honest, I, got, I don't know how many dunks I had. I'd like to know that stat, and I'd like to know how many I've had in college in general. Uh, <laughs> but... That's got, that's got to be up there with one of my you know, higher dunk games because I think probably most of my points came from there. So, do you, 
is that one of those things that you're aware of as it's happening, or is it sort of, you know, you look back on it and think, my, my hand kind of hurts? <laughs> I'd say it's more look back on. Uh, I'd, I try not to pay too much attention uh, to, you know, points or dunks or anything like that. I will say that I was paying a little bit closer attention tonight, uh, but that was just toward the end. <laughs> Six dunks is wow. what I counted. Wow. Um, so then we'll uh, go ahead and wrap it up with Mike Barber and Jeff White. Yeah, Jay, if I could sneak in one more, I'm curious, just in your time there, uh, what's it been like to be in the rivalry with Virginia Tech and, and how much are you looking forward to having this week to get ready for those guys? Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, I know that uh, you know there won't be as many fans there, uh, but I know that my brother in law is probably going to be there just screaming his head off. So <laughs> we'll. Uh, We'll have a good time, and it's it's still going to be a fun rivalry. That's a you know, in-state rivals are always fun. Is your brother-in-law a UVA fan or a Tech fan? He's unfortunately a Tech fan. Um, we don't hold it against him too much. He goes there, so it's like you kind of have to. But um, I'm hoping he sees this and recognizes that I'm giving him a hard time. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Hey, I don't know if you've seen the box score yet, but you finished with. 21 points. You had been stuck on 18 for a career high. Is it nice to kind of get over that hurdle? Yeah, so when I had 19 points uh, and I was on the free throw line and I saw a coach putting Francisco, uh, you know, getting ready to sub him in, I looked over at him. He was laughing at me because he knew I was wanting to get over the hurdle. And so I told him if I miss the first one, then I'm missing the second one because you're not coming in until I get 20. <laughs> <laughs>